Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. Today I'm looking at one of the new features on the Behringer Wing 3.0.5 firmware update. Uh, this is now an adjustable low cut and high cut slope. So if we jump into a channel, let me illustrate here. I'm going to go to channel 1 and I'm going to bring up the filter section. So I do have a low cut and a high cut set here. They're shown in blue. So before you could have a low cut, you could have a high cut, you could you know, adjust the low cut frequency where that cut is. It's now at 100. My high cut is now at 6K. So that's always been there uh, in addition to your EQ. So now you can adjust that slope, which you couldn't do before. So now on the right-hand side of your screen here, you've got these options for a low cut and a high cut uh, slope options. So you've got under low cut, I'll illustrate. Currently you see this blue uh, slope here. So if I change it from 24 to six, it's a pretty drastic difference there on the slope of that low cut. So I'll illustrate six. This is again, this blue slope here. 12 cuts it quite a bit more. 18 cuts it even more and 24 cuts it even more. So you can do the same thing on high cut. They just give you a six and a 12. So you can adjust those slopes to adjust that low, low cut, high cut quite a bit differently than you used to be able to do, which is a pretty cool setting. These are all in addition to your EQ. So now that you have this low cut and this high cut, you can go and add your four points of parametric EQ in on top of that. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.